Our conditions for starting such a conversation are simple and boil down to the following. Ukrainian troops must be completely withdrawn from the Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics, the Kherson and Zaporozhye regions. And I draw your attention to the fact that it is from the entire territory of these regions, within their administrative boundaries, which existed at the time of their entry into Ukraine. As soon as Kiev declares that it is ready for such a decision and begins the real withdrawal of troops from these regions, as well as officially notifies about the abandonment of plans to join NATO, our side will immediately, literally at the same minute, follow the order to cease fire and start negotiations. I repeat, we will do so immediately. Naturally, at the same time, we will guarantee the unimpeded and safe withdrawal of Ukrainian units and formations. We would, of course, like to expect that this decision on the withdrawal of troops, on non-aligned status, and on the start of a dialogue with Russia, on which Ukraine's future existence depends, Kyiv will make such a decision on its own, based on current realities and guided by the genuine national interests of the Ukrainian people, and not on Western orders. Although there are, of course, great doubts about this.